had to make sure I had a fan today just in case the uh, <laughs> the air just the, the, the computer would just the phone will just overheat that's just what's happening the glass in my window is doing it and uh, that's great so it's great for my flowers hey make sure you got you some water so glad to, you could join me today today I'm doing another class Dedicating this one to uh, my brother in poetry, uh, Shamel Durant. Uh, funeral services will be on Friday. Also, a shout out to our social workers. I'll be doing a class with them today. So exciting uh, to be taking Tai Chi on the road. <laughs> so, without further ado, let's start. Uh, we're going to do a little warm up uh, with uh, massaging the body. I actually em emollinated my hands. <laughs> and so uh, let's start there. Let's just start with uh, right fist into open left palm, right under the left, left under the right, open up, gentle bow. Stepping forward on your right foot, followed by your left. Welcome. I'm going to do it again, so join us. Uh, if you're in the chair, it's going to be the same thing, only this time you're going to be sitting up on your iski eyes. Right fist into the left open palm. So excited this weekend. I'm going to be having a Tai Chi conference. Yeah. Right under the left, left under the right open up. Gentle bow. Rolling up through your lower back. Sliding forward on your right fist eye, followed by your left. Welcome. Now let's take this right into a gentle flow. Huh. You know, when you do things on Facebook, somebody says, says do you want to share now? And I'm like, show today, but that's just how it is. One day it's on, the next day it's not. It's a little funny thing. But let's just keep it into a flow. Inhaling and exhaling. Now that I'm back to right, eating regular, not on my limited diet, I'm kind of like, I think I'm putting on a couple pounds. But you know what? It's not that much. Maybe two or three. But still, I want to kind of keep going the downward spiral, trying to reach my target goal weight. I guess everybody has one of those. I'm going to try to do some more brushing. I, I stopped, but I'm going to go back to it. Dry brushing with a natural bristle brush. Really great for um, cellulite. And uh, it's so funny because I, I saw how people get it removed surgically, and they're doing the same thing. Well, it's inside your skin, and they're like racking it. I'm like, boy, you got to be bruised from all of that. Great, let's start with a little massage. I actually today put a little emollient on my hands so that I can rub my hands easy instead of like dry from all the washing dishes. Uh -huh. Rubbing those arms. Got some massage those arms. Yeah. 
across the chest. Ah, oh, 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 oh. Back of your bottom there, your glutes, back of your calves. Oh, inside the inner thigh. Get up right now. Just do two 
two, a couple more. To the inhale. Make sure you're shifting so your knee is over your ankle, not be protruding past your toes. Not a good position. Last one. And let's take it back to monkey here. How you doing? We're gonna now monkey fade into a grounded chi. How you feeling? Back to monkey bear, and we're going to take it on the left side this time, all right? There you go. Remember, if you're in the chair, you want to do kitty corner. You're not going to do straight to the left. You're going to do between the left and the front. There you go. So you inhale, shifting forward. Don't lock that back knee. Ready? Inhale. Ready? So we're pushing away. Bounce up. Shifting back. Pushing forward 30%, but shifting back 70%. Remember, we don't want to give away all of our energy, but we want to retain some so that we have something to store up, to pass on, so we can give to others. Inhale. And exhale. Good. Inhale. That's right. Good. If you're in the chair, you're doing the same thing. Ready? Let's do it. We're a little kitty corner though on this one. Exhale. Inhale. I gotta get back to my story times. I was doing it a lot during COVID on my Kayla Rue Emotion channel. So I'll be advertising on this channel about it. Stories for children and adults. I'm gonna do some story times. Stories and songs. Inhale. Good. Now we're going to reverse the wave. Palms down. Inhale. Almost past your ears. And inhale. Again. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Let's try this one. I'm going to get up and stand. All right. Ready? Ready? Gonna take it again, reversing the wave. And exhale. Oh, sorry, baby. Hands are so on. Good. Inhale. Nice. Beautiful. Let's take it right back here. We're gonna take something that we call uh, Earth to Sky. Set very similar to the Dantian connection. We call it a in the storage vessel right here below your navel. All right, so we're gonna do the same thing, but this time we're gonna take all that positive energy from, from Earth, Mother Earth, and then we're gonna turn it and ex release all that negative stuff away from us. Inhale. And exhale. Don't lock your knees. Always keep your knees soft. Never locking. No stressing. Try to avoid Bending over as much as going down. Inhale up. Earth to sky. I'm gonna try right here if you don't mind. Ready? A little more. If you're in the chair, you can really open up those quads. Try not to bend over. But think about going straight down. Inhale up. And exhale. Two more. And last one. And good. And good. All right. We're going to take it right into. Ready? Um, you know what? I'm going to take it right here into what's called a chi ball. So rub your hands together, right? And you'll feel this heat, that friction that you're building between your two palms. And just let feel that electricity. Feel that, like, tapping. Between your two palms. They never don't, they never are not connected. They are connected. So just let that ball get wider and wider. Just shifting. You're shifting through your hips, or if you're in the chair, or shifting through your knees if you're standing on your feet with the weight on the outside of the feet. And what you're gonna do is we're gonna push to the right first. So we're going to let the right leg be a little bit more forward than the back foot and the left. And your palm. Right here, pushing through. And as that hand pushes through, see the energy is still connected. You're going to use your waist. Remember we talked about the waist? Turn that 
way in the chair you do your flip. Inhale, exhale. Letting that hand float across the water. Inhale, bring it across the front of the body. Exhale. Connect to that chi. And exhale. Make sure those your tongue is behind the front row of your teeth. Inhale and clean the nose. Exhale. I'm gonna stand up for the next couple of them. Ready? And so just same thing, your right foot is a little bit forward, your back, your left foot is a little bit back. Still in horse stance, ready? And just shifting forward onto the right knee. Inhaling, shifting, but turning the waist. Think about the waist, not so much the arms. This is called it's a chi ball or a chi flow. Chi ball. Because you're keeping that, keep those hands connected. One more. Beautiful. We're gonna take it right back to center, shifting our weight. And just shifting. Keep that energy right between the palm of your hands. Yep. And now we're gonna move that left foot a bit forward, bringing the right foot a bit back. Right. And we're gonna just shift that energy, taking that right arm, shifting that energy, pushing it into. Remember, watch the knee. Now, turning over, palm, inhale. And turn that waist, exhale. Working the waist. The waist is also our ab exercise. Definitely include the waist. Don't let the arms take over. Let the waist take over. You don't want to use the arms, you can keep them low. This is a great modification. If that bothers you, just use the waist. always use your hands here on your back. If you don't feel comfortable with that, just leave it down. It's your choice, but you're using your waist. Looking at my friend and saying, I can't believe that he just here yesterday. I'm just in shock. We have to take advantage of making sure we talk to our friends daily, our family daily, making sure we keep in contact. and 
this time when we come up, we're going to go right into what we call heaven hands, okay? Or hands like cloud. Inhale. Bringing that left hand down. It comes across. Lifting up. Inhale up. Remember, this is all waist. Inhale. Get right into those two quads and thighs. And you're turning just the waist. Exhale. Yeah, heaven hands. Inhale up. And now turning back. Using the west. Exhale. Using the waist. Take it all the way over to now our right side. Yeah, ready? Go to the right. Nice stretch. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. And exhale. All the way up to the spine. Lower back. Mid back to rest. Area. Shoulder. Take it now, bring your legs in on the left side. My grandchildren, I follow follow fleet because it's the easiest for you to
really threw me off, thrown me off. I haven't had an incident like that in quite a string wrapped around my foot. And as I turned to get out of the car, my foot was still connected to the car. <laughs> it was a bit. So I'm going to take them back to it. And let's go back to the beginners. Ready? Here we go. Inhale. Exhale. You can bring them again if you choose or not. Inhale. Exhale. And inhale. You can add the leg. Remember, if you lift up your leg, you don't want your back Compromise, inhale. Remember, your back should not collapse. You want to actually pull against it. So when it's coming up, pull up away from your hips. Inhale. Exhale. Good. We're going to add something we haven't done in a while. Mm -hmm. Those karate kicks. I know they're not your favorite. And but they're really good for your lower back, your quads, and your glutes. We're just gonna add a few right here. Not many, just about four out of that. So you're on both legs, if you're in the chair, you're gonna be kitty corner towards the left position. Okay, if you're standing, it's the same. You're here, right? And you're just gonna, and you're gonna do the modification. You can inhale, you're shifting over, and you can just lift up the leg. And you don't have to add the kick, inhale. Shift on to you, shift from your right SDI to your left. Remember, stretching away, not collapsing. Inhale. Good. Nice. Take it right back to flying geese. Kitty corner. So remember, we're going to bring it in. You can bring your leg. Just 
bring it in and don't lift it at all. Or you can lift it. Don't let the back go, especially in the chair. Or you can add the kick, pushing out the heel. And engaging that quad. Ooh yeah, ooh yeah. It's a monkey foot. <laughs> Let's try it one more time. I'm gonna be a little sideways on this one, ready? You're on both feet, shifting over onto the right. You can just bring your leg in. No lift at all. Inhale. You wanna just do the lift. Inhale. Or if you want to add the kick, pushing out of the heel. Remember, pushing out the heel. Right. You don't want to flick it because flicking it is engaging the knee. We don't want to do that. No, no. Inhale up. And exhale. Extend it down to the end. Inhale up. How are you feeling? Exhale. Great. One more time. Beautiful. Now let's shake it out. Ooh. Let's try to put a few of those moves together. We're not going to do all of them, okay? We're going to put four together. How about that? We're going to flow with four. What four should we do? Got any suggestions? All right, I'll stick it to you. I'll do the suggestions, all right? So we're going to do monkey bear, right? And then we're going to push the wave to the right. We're going to reverse the wave. We're going to monkey bear out of that one. Gonna, I'm gonna see if I can remember all of this. Inhale, <laughs> push the wave to the left. Reverse the wave, we're gonna do two times each. Yep, good. And we're gonna go right into, beautiful woman bends your waist, circling it, reversing it. Then we're gonna go right into heaven hands. Right, there'll be four of those. And then we'll go right into that chi ball. Yeah. And we're, we're, are we going to close with a kick? <laughs> or you guys are like, are you out of your mind? We're not doing no kicks. <laughs> I say let's take it to the next level. We're going there. All right. But we'll do it after we go through go flying geese. That'll take us right into that. All right. Let's start. Here we go. Monkey. I'm going to do it standing, and then we'll do it seated. All right. I'm standing, so I might as well just stay. All right, ready? Pushing the wave to the right. And inhale. Shifting back, remember, keeping that knee soft. Let's reverse the wave. Beautiful, exhale. Again, inhale. Good, we're gonna go back to monkey bear. Let's take it on the left. Exhale. Beautiful. Reverse it. I forgot the rest already. <laughs> what did I say? Right, open up. Beautiful woman bends her waist. A beautiful person. Two times to the right. Remember the hands can be on the back of the spine or not. And we're going to reverse it. We're doing a flow, just focusing on moving continuously without stopping inhale up this time remember we go right into heaven hands they kind of connect left hand comes up using the waist not the arms turning the arms just follow remember looking at a 45 degree angle look at that top hand hands like clouds forehead the last set On the left side. Inhale. What are we doing next? Anybody remember? Yeah. All right. Ready? Inhale to the right. Shifting into Golden Rooster. See how that nicely flows? Remember, 
don't have to lift the leg up. Shift that energy over. Take those kicks now over to the right. Here we go. Oops. Shifting over. You don't want to kick your leg. You don't have to. You don't even have to pick it up. Good. And you go to the on the right. Right palm down, left palm up. I just added that, you know. Exhale, shifting through the knee. If you're in your chair, you're shifting through the hips. Last one. Wow, that felt good, guys. Ready? One more time. <laughs> Shake it all out. I'm going to do this set right in the chair, okay? Whole, whole flow in the chair. Here we go. Ready? Sitting on the edge. We're going to take it with monkey bear. There we go. We're going to monkey bear to the right. Remember, if you're in the chair, you're kitty corner. You're not straight flat on like we are for standing. Inhale. How are you doing? Inhale. I definitely need a body massage. I'm going through it. Reverse. I got to heal first. Exhale. One more set. There you go. Good. Let's take it back. Monkey bear. This is a different, we're just really flowing today. Ready, inhale, exhale. Oh, what is it? I'm getting seven this, seven that. For all my grandkids, seven this, seven that. Life is one of seven. Last one, we're going to reverse. Calm down, reverse. Inhale. Got to move my chair, my chair is moving with my, my gluteus max. <laughs> And we're gonna monkey bear this time. Ready? Open up those arms. We're doing right. Beautiful woman bends her waist to the right. Don't sit towards the edge on this one. I always do that when I'm slipping forward. Inhale, reversing it. To the left. Inhale, last one. Now we're gonna go right up with what? Remember, you can use the leg if you choose. Inhale. Inhale. I'm going to do an extra set because I'm doing three versions of it. Last one. Ready? You can choose to lift up. Remember, pull up. Weight from your hips. Don't let your body sink down. Yep. Beautiful. Right into your left kicks. Ready? Right leg is coming up. You decide if you want to extend it. Put that leg where you want it to be and push out the heel or not. We have choices. Golden booster on the left. Exhale. As we change positions, inhale up. Exhale. In the chair, you're going to shift forward a little bit on those ischiae. Your ischiae, you're going to shift back on the ischiae and forward. Remember, if you don't want to pick up the leg, you just pick up the ball and foot. Inhale. Good. All right, ready? Just take it over. Inhale. We're lifting up the left knee. Remember, don't let that back. You should feel your back. Did your back collapse? If it did, don't pick your leg up that high. 
four, no leg at all. Bring it in. We got choices. Right in here. Inhale. Golden rooster stands on one leg. And you don't have to bring your arm up that high. I get a little carried away myself. <laughs> no baby, no vibe right there. Inhale. Calm down. Last one. We're going to combine this one into a stability exercise. So we're going to exhale. Now when we bring it back down, bring both hands forward and just sit in those feet, sit in those glutes. Come on, go forward. Almost like you're coming out of that chair, but you're not. Right on the feet. Yes. And now inhale. To the left. Add, put that ab in there. When I did this uh, with Scott, I was like, ah, yeah, 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 mm -hmm. Picking up on the right. I'm going to stand up for this one. It actually is a, uh, I feel it in my glutes and I feel it in my quads. Whoa, whoa, whoa. So lifting up. Inhale. Again, seated. Get in there. happening in the chair. You're right here. Contract. Put that weight on the outside of your feet. You're all the way over your feet, kind of. Beautiful. And let's stay right here. Remember, don't push down on the top of your quad. Your arms are just resting there. Yeah. And just hold that position. Inhale. Sit up on those empty eyes. And tight. And tight. Let your hand just rest on top of your body. And tight. And tight. What's happening with your abs? And tight. And tight. Tighten those abs. Nice and tight. Hold them tight. Press your thighs together. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And hold. 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 If you're uh, sitting in a chair, I say tap your toes. If you're not, you're standing, go tap your toes. <laughs> nice. Inhale up. And exhale. Inhale up. Did you let go of your quad? Did you let go of your glutes? I didn't do it yet. Now release. Nice and slow. Inhale up. And your tips right behind the back of the head. Keep your head neutral. Don't let your head tilt back. Just keep it straight up. Good. Reach up. Nice stretch. Push down on your left foot as you lean towards you. Lift up and over like a candy cane to the right. Inhale up. I'm on my left eye now, not my right. And release your lower spine, almost like you're collapsing. Now inhale up. Open up that chest area. Push down on your right, up and over to your left. And you can let go. Nice stretch. hands 
shoulders down right now. Yeah, circle the shoulders back. Yeah, how you feel? Let's reverse shoulders forward. Nice. Beautiful. Oh, I felt that. Take those hands back. You can either hold on to the chair and lean your body forward, or you can clasp your hands. That's a choice. Nice stretch. Yeah, I'm feeling it. <laughs> like second or third day. But I'm pushing through. Good. Nice. Good. Put your lift up your again, tighten and tighten. And squeeze your thighs nice and tight and tight. And tight. And three. Now don't let it all the way, but just slightly. Take your right ear and just stretch your right. Uh, stretching up that neck muscle. Inhale and exhale. Chin to your chest. Circling your head. Ear to your left shoulder. And they're straight up. I don't I avoid going back. And over to the left. And mm. take your left hand and push your left hand this way, but your head's pushing it to the opposite. And there's a tension you'll feel right in your neck. Nice stretch. Now take your fingers and clasp them and bring them right behind the back of your head and push your head back, but your hands are pushing forward. Nice stretch in the back of the neck. Leave the elbows out of it. My elbows always are trying to get in it. Leave them out. Take that right hand, push it over, and head again. You feel stretch in the neck. Mm -hmm. How are you feeling? Great. And last stretch for the neck. We're going to do a neck today. Stretch that neck. Take those palms down and just, it's called um, a single whip and a double whip. We're gonna just take the lunge. We're gonna shift over and let the right hand, left hand. This is also great for your metatarsals in your wrist and your carpal tunnel. <laughs> and lift up and shift over. Good. Sit right in that knee. Yeah. And up. I'm going to do one more. Ready? I'm going to do this one in the chair. You can do it in the chair. I would do it on the angle. How about that? I would do it on the angle. Ready? So we're on the angle. Ready? Ready? And shift. So I'm letting that front leg, my, my, my left leg come out a little bit. So in the chair, that's going to look flat. Bring it back in. Lift up those rib cages away from your waist. Yep, don't lock the knee, always keep it slightly. Good, okay, nice job. We're gonna play then. All right, squeeze those thighs together and just lift that leg up and tighten. So tighten the glutes, tighten and tighten and hold it nice and tight, press the thighs in in, slightly let everything release it just a little bit, and let that right leg up, and open, it doesn't have to be a lot, up, and open, and up, and open, and up, other side, and release your spine, two, three, four, sit up, tighten those glutes, and tighten, and tighten, press the thighs, in, and in, and in, yep, and good, and now, Left and up and open. You don't have to open very much. Remember, we're all working at our own fitness stuff. So you can do two. Hey, you can do more. That's fine. We're all no competition. Good and good. And we're gonna do two sets, guys. And release two. We have to do one seated. Lift the thing up. Tighten those glutes and slide that leg up. If you're in the chair, you're gonna flex. If you're standing, I would say use yoga toe. Meaning point your foot, but leave your toes up instead of pointed over. Because sometimes it makes a cramp in the foot and it does hurt. Um, if you're in the chair, I flex. And in, the, the quad, the knee is up. Hold on to your chair and open that thigh. And then make sure your knee is 
not protruding over your foot. So put that ankle under that knee. Open. In. We're working the sartorius muscle, which runs which way? Right from the groin across. You're going to lift. Up. And touch. Don't let your back collapse. If it's collapsing, that means your leg's too high. Don't do it. Just lift it off the floor. That's all. And touch. And up. Using that muscle. And good. Bring it in. Nice stretch forward. Oh, wrap your arms around your knees if you're seated. If you're not and you're standing, still wrap your hands around your knees. Inhale. Slowly rolling up. Nice job. Inhale up. Good. Other side. Ready? We're going to tighten those. Tighten. And tighten. And tighten. Kind of use our glutes, guys. We don't use them enough. Squeeze. And squeeze. And squeeze. And good. And slide the leg out. And you, if you're in the tree, you gotta move forward. Make sure you check out your alignment with your ankle under your knee. And remember, if you're standing, I would use yoga toe point. Choice. So toe and knee is facing up. And open and up. And open and up. Now I'm holding here. Add the ab here. Up. Hold it up. Push against that chair. Push away from the hips. Up. Nice job. And good, bring it in. This time, open it nice and wide. Nice stretch. Ooh, yes, and stretch over. Ooh, inhale. Exhale. Reach with your what? Your armpit. Can you take it all the way around? Don't fall out of the chair. You're, I'm on the edge, so don't fall out like I might. Inhale up. Good. Let's take it to the other side. I have to push back. I will fall right out of the chair. I don't need that today. Nice. I'm really good with, I'm a colorist, you know? I went to a, a, a class where I learned how to carve, and I really enjoyed coloring. I didn't enjoy the carving as much as I enjoyed the coloring. I love blending colors. I think in my next life, that's just what I'm gonna do. <laughs> I'm going to color the pictures, let the artist make the pictures, and I'll just color them. How cool is that? <laughs> All right, come on. We're gonna do one more set. If you're, if you want to rest in between, go right ahead. Remember, you don't have to do all of them. You can do one, and we're happy. Ready? Bring your legs together and tighten your glutes and release. Tight, release. Tight, release. Nice and tight. Squeeze the thighs together. Shift your weight left. Shift your leg right. Shift your leg weight left, and just pick your foot up slightly up the floor. Just lift up and open. Remember, you don't have to move it that much. And open. We're balancing. And open, you can leave your foot on the floor if you like. And bring it down. Nice stretch. Over. And if you are standing, I'm going to say straighten your legs. See if you can touch the floor. Nice stretch. Inhale. Shift your weight forward a bit. Nice. Bend your knees. Slowly moving up. Inhale, lower back. Lift back the rest area. Inhale up. Nice. Shift your weight right. And left. And right. And left. Now keep it on the right. Ready? Tighten. Release. Tighten. Release. You gotta use your glutes to do the exercise. Tighten them. Tighten those inner thighs in. And lift that foot slightly up and up. And open. And you can drop it down if you'd like or not. Open. And bring it in. Right. Nice stretch over. Flat back. Inhale up. Up. Now bend the knees. Nice. Legs are together on the floor. Nice breath. You can release it or not. You don't have to straighten the knees, my friends. Inhale up. Good. Last one. Seated position. Slip shifting over onto your left leg. Take that right leg and slide it out to the ball of the foot. Remember, toes up. Right here, squeeze those glutes and squeeze them and squeeze them and nice. Now you're ready to get a look at your inner thigh, not your quad. Inner thigh, your sartorius muscle. Lifting up and touch, up and touch and up and touch and up and touch. I'll tell you, since I've been doing these exercises with you guys, my muscle, my thighs are getting flatter on the inner, just like they were when I was in ballet class. Bring it in, 
and open up nice and wide. And what I also notice is my knees are changing because I'm using my inner muscles. Oh, grab and hug those behind those legs. Yes, and if you feel comfortable, you can straighten out. Nice inhale. I shift. It's, a nice, it's actually one of those yoga poses, but I love it. I'm just shifting my weight from the back of the foot to the front. Yep, and roll it up. Inhale. You can't really do that on your in the chair, but you can hug the legs in the chair. Shifting, bringing the legs in, shifting from the left to the right. You're gonna put the weight the weight on your right foot, and while you're there, just tighten, release, tighten, release. Now only release halfway. Slide that leg out. You're on the ball of the foot. Remember, you're pointing through your top of your metatarsals in your foot, but you're not approaching the toes because it can actually cramp up. It's not, it's not a good feel. And it, moving this hip, meaning you're turning your leg inside your trichanter bone of your hip. So that way you're going to get that sartorius muscle that's running from the ground, drawing across to your knee from the ground. <laughs> from the ground, I want to go there. Lift up and touch. Up. Shoot that energy off the fingers. Up and touch. Up and touch. Up and touch. Last one. Good. Right here. Drop that foot down. Shift over to the front. If you're in the chair, you can do it. Right. And nice. Stretch forward. Mm, shifting back. Nice stretch. Bring that leg in. Nice. Step forward on the other foot. If you could step forward farther, it'd be nice. And just shift. Yep. Feel a stretch in the back of the calf where your Achilles muscle is in the back of the ankle. Like, we need that. <laughs> Actually, we need it. Yeah. Good. How was class today? I felt good. I felt like we really were flowing today. We didn't do too many arms today, but we did arms a lot here. And so we could just take it out. Inhale. Oh, exhale. Now, if you're standing, I want you to try to see if you can get right inside those quads and just hold that. Put the weight on the outside of your glutes. Try not to lean over. That's a challenge. Remember, we're all working at our own fitness level, so you might be right here, and that's okay. That may be a lot for you. Remember, we're all working at our fitness level. So just put the weight on the outside of your feet and just push down in your feet slightly. Don't lock the knees in. Get those feet in. Again, nice big hug. Oh. Ooh. Good. And if you can, nice stretch to the left. Inhale. Bend those knees. Center. Rolling up. Inhale up. Good. Take bending bear and we're going to take that stretch all the way over to the right. Stretch out the back of that hamstring. If you're in the chair, you're gonna sit up with your feet like this. I'm gonna be like I'm in the chair, I'm on the floor. So you're sitting up, right? You're just gonna take that right leg. Remember, you can cross it at the ankles. You can cross it here, or you can cross it above the knee. You'll feel a nice stretch and just let your body rest. And you can circle that foot. If this is a lot for you on the floor, you can lay on your back and do the same thing. Okay, my favorite. Stretching out that Achilles. I'm sorry, stretching out the hamstring. I feel it. Uh, nice. Good. And if you're in the chair, you're going to open up your leg to a nice wide second. If you're on the floor, you can expand your face. Don't hit your knees. Nice stretch. Whoa, that feels great. Bring those legs in. Good. And we're going to change sides. So I'm just going to roll over. You can get up. Remember, get up the way it feels best for you, my friends. All right? And again, if you're sitting in the chair, sit up. 
Yeah. There you go. You can cross at the ankle or here or here. I'm going to stay on the floor today and just bring your body to your leg. But keep your body up. You can rest. If this is not comfortable, again, you can bring the leg in. Oh my gosh, I feel it. Inhale. Good. And last time, one more stretch. Then circle the ankles out. And reverse them. If you're laying on your back, I'm going to get up just to do it in a chair. So don't copy me to get up because I'm trying to get up quickly. Okay. Oh. Yep. So, here we go. I know I've got to touch the other leg. Right. Because if you're in the chair, your straight leg is not like this, but it's like this. So your straight leg is like this. Just open up the quad. Yeah. And. You can shift over and do the same thing in reverse. And then shift over to your right hip the eye, right? In circle. In reverse. Remember, there's modifications for me, but if this is too much, bring your leg in, sit back, and do it right here. That's good too. In reverse. Bring your foot in, circle it in. And reverse. Good. Nice stretch again. The shoulder, take that right arm off. Just nice stretch. Mm. Remember, if you want to deepen it, don't hold on to the joint. Just reach it back. If you want to deepen it even further, don't let your head stay forward, but push your head back against your arm. I watched that interview with Megan. It was too much. You gotta heal the world, my dear. Heal the world, make it a better place. Nice stretch again. Heart exercise. Heart, 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 heart. Take that left arm. Yeah. yeah, but you know what? Every time I think about it, try to see if we can get a couple of those heart exercises. Inhale. Oh, I love it. My skin feels really soft because of some extra heavy grease. <laughs> Mechanics. I'm telling you, some my hands are dry from washing dishes. Remember, press your head back into your arm. Oh my God, lift that rib cage up. Oh yes. Oh yes. Oh yes. Also, I'm excited. They said they're showing my video on the governor's page. I don't know what day it is, so I'll let you know. Chair to stretch forward. Ooh. And you know what? Let's just re rest like a rag go. Inhale and exhale. If you're still on the floor, you're doing the same thing. You know what? You can also, here's a key ab exercise. You know those uh, old guy hurt me. You know, uh, I'm going to show it to you, but you can also do it on the chair. Um, so you can either do it on the chair, get up and just look. Your lats, your flats. I'm holding on to the top. Maybe you want to hold on here. Get those abs in. See if you can hold it for 30 seconds. Maybe 10. Remember, we're all working at our own fitness level. And we're trying to get those abs in there. And I apologize, uh, kind of that whole thing took me out. I'm going to do some wall exercises, but uh, we're going to do it. And I'm going to say goodbye in the chair first, and then I'm going to get up and do it. And that way we get, get a couple. Yeah. So, ready? Right fist into left open palm. Right under the left, left under the right. Open up, gentle bow. And in Taoism, we step back from our work. So sliding back on your left is the eye, covered by sliding back on your right. Thank you. 
if you are in the chair, but you know you can get up out of that chair, we're gonna do two squats and then stand up and close. So remember, you're gonna get up and you're gonna use your hips to get up, not your knees, but the weight on the outside of your feet, shift forward onto the feet, and now lift up, push down into the feet and lift up. Whoa, boo, 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 boo. Let's try one more time, ready? Whoa. How about just touch the chair? Touch it and put the weight on the feet. You've got to push down in your feet. That's the key because if you don't, you're going to use your knees. Guaranteed. I, I can do it only because I put the weight in my feet because otherwise I would be just like, ah! So we don't want that. Right fist into open left palm. Right into the left. Left under the right. Open up. Gentle bow. Yeah. Rolling up to your lower back, mid back thoracic area. Inhale up. We're going to step back on our left foot, followed by our right. Thank you. We're going to do our four affirmations. Self-care, say it. Take one arm up. Self-preservation, we must preserve ourselves so we can continue to do the work we do. We have to share all of our creativity with those around us. And when times get rough and hard, and you've done all you can do to fix it, let it go. <laughs> let it go. My friends, don't forget to get your water today and every day. Try to get three and four of these bottles in. It's been so great working with you. How you doing, uh, Frances? Huh? Frances has been with me a whole year. She got a little uh, situation and she had to get some stuff done and it took her back a bit, but I want to see what you're doing, Frances, so call me. Hey, James, great to see you. I hope we can get your mama on here. Pat Johnson's wonderful. She's such an inspiration to me. I, I love her. She's one of our griots like Frances, like Debbie St. German, like Debbie. All, all these, I've got all these living legends on here, so it's awesome. Great working out with you. Don't forget to drink your water. And on March 18th, I'm having a skin, a skin care Zoom shop on how to take care of our skin, our cleansers, our toners, our moisturizers for our skin. As we age, at least our skin gets a little bit more drier. I've got a lot of things to tighten the skin, moisturize the skin. It's not about makeup. We don't need that. Although I like to wear it sometimes. But we still have to take care of our skin. So you want to know about it, check me out. www.shop.com forward slash Jetta. I look forward to talking to you. See you guys on Saturday. Uh, Saturday might be a challenging. I'm actually going to be in a workshop on Saturday. And I might be out by the time. So I'll put that up if I'm going to do it or not. But have a wonderful, wonderful day. Thank you.